These shoes were made for walking over a thousand miles. When you walk six miles every day, you're gonna go through the shoes. Actually, when I was first walking, I was doing house walking and I was always barefoot. I never wore shoes inside my house. I just walked six miles barefoot in my house every day. But when I became a full-time RVer, I started walking outside and that was even okay in the beginning. I started barefoot hiking, which I really enjoyed. But the weather got hot and when the weather is hot in Florida, it makes it almost impossible to go barefoot. So I ended up needing to buy some shoes. So on Mother's Day, I bought these for myself. They are New Balance Arishi version 1s. And as it turns out, I love these things. I love them almost as much as I love going barefoot. The main thing I was looking for in a pair of walking shoes was a grippy bottom because I knew I was going to be on different terrain and I really don't like the slick bottoms in a lot of walking shoes nowadays. This like plain white but these have a nice grippy bottom. They're also very lightweight. So, you know, even though I'm walking six miles, it really doesn't feel like a whole lot of extra weight that I'm carrying around. You'll notice there's a good bit of ventilation in them and I've found that they do feel pretty cool even on a hot day. They also have fresh foam, which I couldn't find a lot of information about, but it really does seem to have made the shoes not stink because even though I was in hot Florida weather and walking a whole lot in the sun, the shoes really don't stink even after a thousand miles of walking. And I like the way they look. I was kind of concerned that I was going to have some knee pain when I started wearing shoes again, but since I've lost so much weight, I think that's the reason why I'm not having any knee pain. Or it could be that these are just great shoes. That being said, there are a few things I don't really like about this shoe. One thing is it's a little bit thinner here. And what happens when you're walking around in a wet area is they tend to get a lot wetter than something that has a little bit higher of a sole. Also, that ventilation that is actually pretty nice as far as airflow can make it so that if you're walking around in a lot of sand, more sand gets in your shoe than normal. And I wasn't really thinking when I picked out the black ones because that made it hotter on my foot than it really even needed to be. They are really well ventilated, but if I had picked a lighter color, it would have been even cooler on my foot. So after a thousand miles, these things have hung in there really well. Now, I haven't had them for that long. I just put a lot of miles on them. So the top part's still looking great. It's just the bottom bottom is pretty worn, you know. You can see my strike pattern uh, has made it so that it's at one po uh, point, like on the heel, it's actually down to the white part. So I do need to change these out. You know, there's a lot of things out there that say you should probably change your uh, shoes every like 300 to 500 miles, and I've gone way over that. So it's time for a new pair, but I love these, and I may even just go get me another pair just like them. So if you're looking for a good pair of walking shoes, try out New Balance. I think these were about $60 when I bought them, uh, and you can get them for about that on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description so that you can find these exact ones on Amazon. So I'm curious to know what kind of walking shoes do you love to use? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below.